Hi everyone. <clears throat> so tonight at 12, 12 a.m., if you're on the East Coast like me, um, will be the new moon solar eclipse. Extremely impactful. <clears throat> Maybe you've already been feeling it. I have my morning like started off really a little like uncomfortable. I did some meditation. It helped. I had uh, some awarenesses click and um, you know, I had real, I've been having some crazy ass dreams. Um very insightful some just like i'm just like what the hell does that mean okay telepathy co-creation communing and honoring look at this i feel like this is um the sign that we are moving towards soul family okay this is even um becoming one with our higher self okay under the guidance of our higher self as well as what I just heard. Fire of transformation. Yeah, really. It's the phoenix rising from the ashes. And, you know, that's a lot of what I was experiencing earlier in my day today was just kind of, um, I'm hearing the words, reckless abandonment. Okay, so seeing my own reckless abandonment in different situations and not like following things all the way through and just seeing how um, uncommitted I have been in my own life and along my own journey. And um, it's really allowed me to, to see, because I always say, you know, what's helped me the most in learning how to forgive others is first seeing that within me, you know, it's, it's always start with me. And then when I, once I recognize my own flaws, darkness, character defect, however you want to describe it, it w once I realize that I have it, it's, it's so much easier for me to see, it, not only see it in others, but then it's like, with this recognition of it in others, it's like, who, how can I be upset for some with someone or judge someone for doing something that I've done or that I've thought, you know, aren't I capable of doing exactly it? Okay. You know what? They're reminding me of this particular scenario. Okay. I remember in my drinking days. Okay. I got sober when I was 29. So in my drinking days, you know, everything was real pretty, you know, um, uh, just like the outside looked pretty. I, I cleaned up really well. I never looked like the part of, uh, at least I never thought <laughs> I looked a part of, you know, um, alcoholic drug addict, but anyway, towards the end of my, my drinking and drugging, um, I used to always visit, uh, this really nice restaurant and um, my boyfriend happened to work there and I would be picking up my boyfriend at the time uh, and I would I would meet him you know pick him up after work or whatever and uh, I would be hammered on my way on my way there you know just getting ready I would drink like three to four bottles of uh, what is it Santa Margarita Pinot Grigio <laughs> and I'd be popping pills and snorting cocaine and um but i looked i looked good you know i was dressed up you know and anyway i'd be driving down there and um i'd always see this woman on this on the side of the road like parked like kind of catty cornered from from where this restaurant was and uh she'd be sitting on this bench drinking whatever from a brown paper bag and and i would just have like oh like i would just be like oh you know never putting it together you know like there was no difference between 
her and I. The only difference was I was driving drunk <laughs> and she was sitting on a park bench, on a bus bench, you know. I was drinking mine from fancy wine glass and she was drinking hers from a brown paper bag and um, that like I never like connected that until I don't even know when into my sobriety you know um, I was real shot out when I first got sober and I'm still pretty shot out but like you know in a fun way I make it fun <laughs> I feel like it it's fun anyway and uh because I don't take myself serious because it's just like, for what, you know, like, yes, I know that I'm an intelligent person, but you know, I've also been a fool <laughs> and I am still very capable of being foolish. And, um, so I feel like I got way sidetracked, but you know, the long story short was that I may, I saw myself, I eventually got to recognize myself. And instead of judging that homeless woman on the side of the road, I recognized her as myself. And, um, so this helped me release my judgment towards her and, um, forgive myself for judging her as well, you know, and, you know, just in today, you know, my whole spiritual path has kind of been these awakenings of just how much I am not as unique as I've wanted to be. You know, I used to get pissed off because people would copy me and my my mother would tell me imitation is the, the highest form of flattery, flattery and I'd be like, well, fuck that, I hate it, you know, and and uh, today it's like, I don't care. Like if, if, if you see something that I'm doing and it makes you want to do it too, and it somehow like makes you happier or a better person or whatever, it's like fucking do it. You know, I'm happy for that. And, um, so anyway, Today, you know, my uh, awareness of, you know, that I had there, you know, just about my reckless abandonment. See, they gave me those words again. Because I would leave, leave situations like out of fear or just like impulse or, you know, fury, my, my, my anger would get the best of me and and uh, i see how like this this long treacherous path <laughs> you know to meet myself has been just these series of awakenings of uh making peace not just with myself but with others um you know, along the path, you know, I've, I've parted myself from many. And a lot of times I, I do feel like I'm walking alone and it can seem, I can, I could let myself, you know, be sad, you know, but, um, I, I don't because I'd much rather be walking alone, but I'm never alone. Like, I don't believe like I'm ever alone. I, I just don't anymore. Maybe there was a time that I, I used to, but I'm, I'm, I'm good. Like, I don't, I don't feel like that. Like I'm very comfortable in my skin. I, I don't need to be entertained. I don't need anybody to like me or approve of me. I don't have to like sit at your table. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm cool, man. I'm, I'm cool. And that's been like such a, a gift of continuing to dive deep into who I am and wanting to know who I am. Um, 
to understand myself, you know, because literally every day I strive to be better than who I was the day before. And um, there has been plenty of times where I've wanted to give up. I've been like, fuck this. Where am I headed? This makes no sense. <laughs> and then I, rem I remember, you know, when you're along this spiritual path, All you need is a six inch view. Why? Because all that matters is what's happening right now, directly in front of you. And, um, and then the, I become even more grateful for the teachers I've had along my path, especially, you know, my Maureen and I've, I've spoken of her often and, um, you know, she's the one, you know, she, she, she got through to a, a wrench like me. It's like that. Um, I'm going to cry if I sing that song, but, um, you know, that day I call her up just overwhelmed to the max, man. And she said, look down at your feet. And I was just like, what the fuck? You know, like look down at my feet. What the, but I did it because I respect her and I love her. And so I did it, you know, <laughs> and little did I know that that little piece of advice would be such a saving grace in my life. It's, it literally saved my life. I, I still use it to to this day, you know, so I'm going to end with that. Um, so when you get overwhelmed, when life starts to shake you up and you get a little scary, you know, a little scared and overwhelmed with where you're headed and what you're doing and, um, look down at your feet. Why? Because it will remind you where you are. And then you take a deep breath, you look up and you do what's in front of you to do. And that's it. And repeat as many times throughout your day as necessary. Okay. They're telling me to get one more of these cards here and another one of these cards over here. So let's see. Yeah. Okay. So two came. Okay. Resolution, old timelines, collapsing insights, higher self embodiment expression. Word, isn't that exactly what I said when we started? <laughs> yeah, get outside. Look, tree of life, circle of life, clear energies, channel. Yeah. So this is like, you know, detoxing. Here's 10, completion. Yeah, definitely um, opening up to our ancestors, our, our guides, whatever word you want to use there. It says, with ways of pearl liminal space, new energies, trust, tr time of growth. Yeah. And this one blessing beyond the soul path, honor all life exchange of joy without karma or sacrifice. Damn you guys, we are headed to, or we are in it. We are freaking in it. This beautiful timeline of expansion and growth. Those were their words, not mine. All right, what else here for the collective today? Protected by angels, you are cherished by the angels. So be not afraid. I'm hearing that be not afraid song, that, that church song. That's my one of my favorite church songs that I remember from just growing up when I would go to Sunday mass. Be not afraid. I go before you always. That song. Cleansing waters. Purification activates vibrant life force. Yeah, so I feel like there's like detoxing. So it, this is all part of like letting go. Okay, it's not just, it's it's like just old patterns. We're not repeating it. We are, we are literally stepping into a whole new world. Look, everything is smooth sailing. I feel like whatever it is that you're 
working on or establishing or starting, like you're really going to feel confident and in flow towards like winter, whenever winter starts, like whenever the season of winter starts. Okay. Um, some of you are even like, like flying solo, like single, look, follow your bliss, navigating by the stars, follow your bliss. Look, blessings are showering your life. Yeah. I re yeah. Answering the call. Stay focused. This is a time I look vast vistas, expand your horizon, coming out of the box, coming out of your shell. Look and believe in the magic. Look, beginning a new cycle. Keep going forward. What look miracles. Oh my God. This is amazing. Expect the wonders to emerge. Okay. Believe and receive. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Wow. All right. One more. One more. The energy is gaining momentum. Yeah. So you, you'll feel it. You, you, you know, you'll feel it inside, um, like anxious or just like this. I feel very like excited, like just like ready, like I'm ready, you know, <laughs> but it's coming across through different for everybody. But if you're feeling like high anxiety, make sure you ground yourself, you know, get outside, walk around barefoot, you know, do whatever you can to ground yourself, even just meditation or just sitting there and imagining roots growing from, you know, your bottom, everything that's like gr touching the floor and just imagine these roots like busting through the earth and just growing, growing, growing and spreading, you know, through the dirt and until it reaches the center of the earth and wraps around all the crystals down there and just like let mother, mother earth recharge you, fuel you, ignite you. Yeah. Look, be bold and make the first move. Okay. So that's like fire. It's like lighting a fire under your ass. It's like getting things started. And, and then it says, take time to breathe out. So I feel like this is like the balance between the two. It's like knowing when to go, but also knowing when you need to like, kind of like chill. Okay. So I don't know why, but this deck is calling me. So let's see, what do we need to know here? What is the story? Ooh, see, this is one, two, three, four, seven of pentacles, patience. And it's like, what's worth putting your efforts into? This is like making a plan. This is considering it's like, it's evaluating all your options. Yeah. See, and then make to make boss moves or become the boss. It's, it's stepping into the emperor role of your life. Damn. Okay. This is Aries where this is a new moon in Aries. They told me to look underneath and look, there's a star. It's like, make a wish. Um, I, I, um, I'm hearing that song, that Selena song, like Selena, Selena, not Selena Gomez, Selena. Um, um, that I could fall in love. This is somebody wishing on a star. Like I, I just feel this is enormous healing. Okay. This is just surrendering to your life's path is what I heard. And the divine. Okay. This is you taking charge of your life, being the emperor of your life, making a decision, movement forward. This is amazing. I'm also, it's creating, okay. Creation. You see this? Like I just heard goodness gracious, great balls of fire. That's from that movie, Top Gun. Yeah. All right, guys. I love you. Happy new day. Every day is a fresh start. Actually, you can like restart your day like every single minute of the day. So don't forget that either. <laughs> and um, yeah, believe it to receive it. Expect the miracles, okay? Because... The divine wants you to have it, but it's like, you need to be bold enough to make the first move. You need to believe in yourself 
to make the first move. Yeah, see, you need to have faith in your dreams and work through your fears. Know you're good enough. Wow. You and your loved ones are safe. Stop worrying. Like, come out. Of, it's like, come out of your shell. Come out of your cave. Come out of hiding. There's, there, You don't have anything to be afraid of. Prosperity lies ahead. Fiery climax lies ahead. You can do whatever you want. You just got to be willing to work for it and accept the consequences of whatever it is that you do. <sighs> whatever it is you choose to do. So there you have it. I love you. Have an amazing night and I will see you soon. Bye guys.